To the Magic Sponge, episode five, series two. Ross hey, Beckett. Hello, Rob. Jimmy Bullard. All right, mate. And Ian Smith. <laughs> um, right, before we introduce our guests this week, we've got a couple of tweets from last week. And what a legend episode. he is, by the way, Rob. Yeah, what a legend. Um, we'll introduce that legend later. Um, we've got a couple of tweets. This one's from Gavin Ope. He said, Listen to the Magic Sponge with Jeff Winter, played cricket against a team of premiership refs, full of chat, and got a lot of stick from him in particular. Really? How'd, you, how'd you end up playing refs? That's weird. I, was, I bet they won. Well, <laughs> ten yeah. refs. You can't beat one, let alone ten. No, no, but I don't know. Is Jeff Winter any good at cricket? Mm, I wouldn't say so. But I don't want to speak out of term. He doesn't look like he's done a lot of sport <laughs> um, <laughs> since he retired. He, he wouldn't be doing no running. He'd have to hit a lot of boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> The fat bars. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alan Miller has said he had tears here in Jeff Winter's referee and tales. Please get Gar- Graham Pohl as next guest. Oh, um, imagine that. You don't like Pohl, do you? No, I don't think a lot of people do. Really, is he a bit annoying? <laughs> imagine if we got another. We could lay in him, couldn't we? Smithy. He's turned us He's turned down. us down. Oh, Chazzy fuck him. bastard. It's Graham Pohl turned us down? Yeah. What? How can you turn the podcast, the best podcast in the country, <laughs> Dan? Holy yeah, worm. Because he's busy doing all his other stuff. Honey. What else does he do? What do you do when you retire as a ref? Traffic order. So I think it's time we should introduce our guests. Yeah. Mr. Stuart Castle Dine. Hello, Hello, mate. How are we doing? We all right? Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming, coming mate. Hey, thanks That's for the first time chose. someone's been clapped onto a show. We don't oh, do that's a nice atmosphere, isn't it? It was a bit of atmosphere, isn't it? In Although the... I was a little bit disappointed to hear I was a bit of a last-minute replacement. A story of my bloody life, you know, really? sitting on the bench. There we go. <laughs> waiting, waiting for the big moment, and here we are. Come on. Who was you replaced? Mark Bright. Mark Bright. Broke oh, his hip well. in the gym. He's been yeah, there twice. Well, He's had twice, Bright. I'll tell you what. He's not coming on the show now. No, he's going on my list with Graham Pohl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, him and Pohl are not allowed on, but thanks for coming. Oh, no worries. Um, so basically, you had a 10-year career. I've got it down there, Stuart. Uh, yeah, pretty inauspicious career. Very average. I'm sure you're about to tell me. Inauspicious. No, I'm not going to tell. It's a professional football. Inauspicious? What the fuck does uh, that mean? Shit. Don't See, that's why. It. You ain't in a meeting now. No, that's why Stuart's... He's got his fingers in so <laughs> many pies, his fella. <laughs> the reason why Stuart's so successful after his career is because he knows words like that. He don't just run around going, Hey, 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 go check that passport. <laughs> Go in jungle, all right. Fuck you, Foggy. Love you quicker than that, but Jimmy, you're first to leave. Get out, Jim. There's Rob. Rob. I actually told Rob. Rob was one of the people I told when I was going in the jungle, and he went, Yep, that's you, fuck. <laughs> I mean, just be yourself, but don't push it too far. Be yourself, but don't go too, man. Yeah, first you out, don't boom. fuck all, mate. Yeah, it's fact. <laughs> oh, God, Jimmy's gone. Jimmy's gone. <laughs> I'm doing so well up until then. So <laughs> next day off. Oh, you were fuck. doing brilliantly, mate. It was just the old football banter just came out yeah. and just let you down right at the oh, death. No. I was watching it. I, was, I actually, right, so I got, I got the, the nod from, from your, your manager, which is why yeah. I'm here, he's my pal. And as soon as I heard that you were going on, I went straight down to bookies. I'm not really a gambler, and I had I had a decent bet on it. I thought, oh, my, Jimmy's going to win it, he's going to win it. And then as soon as you opened your stupid <laughs> gob and started hammering poor, lovely, yeah. sweet Jake, I thought, oh, fuck yeah. me, no, but, no, I, oh, no, don't yeah. do it, stop. Oh, don't but do I, it. I don't want to really bring it up, I did have a could on you to go first and that paid quite well because <laughs> <laughs> you know me so long bro. there we oh, go bless you really? no I didn't oh. um, oh, I, went to I thought you was going to do well did you? Did yeah, you I really? mean, I, I was you a prick back then? I don't remember <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're still doing yourself no favours I know but fuck them <laughs> I'm going to sell 12 million viewers, so I ain't going to oh. worry. How many watch this, eh? Well, we can't watch it. How many listen to it? <laughs> With that 2 million downloads you had? 2 million. Oh, boom! <laughs> That's what we're about. <laughs> Fuck quick and then it's back to Bulldog. <laughs> uh, right, so, so Stuart, uh, back to you. Yes, thank so, you. You were 10 years, you played for Wimbledon, yep. Wickham Wanderers, yep. before having a media career, which is still, the, you know, still got your hand in, didn't you? Yeah. You did BBC One TV series such as Houses Behaving Badly. That's true. Uh, How how's was the house behaving yeah. badly? Well, it was a glorified Spitting DIY stuff. show, basically. My first show out of, out of being a footballer was... was, was Big Strong Boys. Do you remember little Craig Phillips who won the first Big Brother? Big Strong yeah. Boys. So, yeah, so it's a bit of a vehicle for him what and that? I just blagged my way in. Boy <laughs> Station, was that on that? <laughs> oh, so it sounds like a... I'm, like I guess a I'm, I'm kind of a property expert. Me and, me and my wife have always bought and sold a bit of property and so I know my way around the house and it was one of those that I'd had a 
bit of TV experience and being the next footballer and I was right place at the right time and ended up landing the landing the role on Big Strong Boys with, with Little Craig. It sounds like a Paul now. So, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? It's horrendous it as well, I know. And also, why you keep calling him Little Craig? It's like he's got a tiny dick and you've got well, the big dick. No, you're no, like, no, big no, Strong to Boys. To be fair, he does quite well, actually. I'm sorry, but no, he's, well, he's a little muscly builder, if you remember him. Yeah, from, the, yeah he won the first one, him. didn't he? he was, yeah, he's a nice lad, but yeah. So he, I got a, he got in the yeah, chat. I bet Andy Andy was furious when he started getting those jobs. <laughs> it was, it was, it was housewives porn. It was me and Craig with our little tight white t-shirts on, putting up shelves. Oh, it was magic. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, and also you, you were a model for DK and Wine Top Man. Oh, I did a little bit of that, yeah, back back in the day. And I'm like, oh man, now, you know? Yeah. Well, you can do older things, can't you? Like yeah, Saga. Yeah, a little bit. A little like, bit of you're on the sides of a cruise ship, <laughs> just sort of looking out the window. Uh, occasionally I do too, yeah. Oh, so I'm getting all bashful now, I'm embarrassed. I know, he's got his head in his shoulder. Oh, no. like, he's like a little cat. <laughs> But you're, I think you're probably the one of the most sort of switched on and clued up ex-footballers you've had on the show. Yeah, with well, a couple of others. From me, obviously. We're at 2-0, 10-0. What about Winder? I don't know, Winder. Just pushing him <laughs> 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 He's thick as shit. He makes me, he makes me look like, um, uh, whatever. <laughs> Jeremy Paxman. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I was I, I was a beneficiary of a decent education. I grew up as a I'm, I'm a fishery. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually Fuck a rugby. Lad. I'm a rugby lad masquerading as a footballer. I grew up in Twickenham. Masquerading. And I ended up going, I ended up <laughs> 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 I've heard these words on podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Rob's line. I know. Uh, I'm to be fair, to be fair I used to get hammered by the Wimbledon lads because they voted me because I was the only one that was, that was at university. So I was the I was the youngest ever PFA delegate. So all the boys, Vinny and all the chaps, it came round to... Oh he, didn't know he, he didn't even know he had it. He didn't even know that was one. So, so they all said, oh, fuck, you know, we can't be arsed. Just, just, just let Stu do it. And go on. And so I was, I was there, are. Billy Keane at all the bloody, all the meetings and everything. Yeah, you are good, With yeah. them words, I'd be like, oh, he knows what he's on about time. <laughs> right, but yeah, I don't know what delegate is, but he looks like he could be one. <laughs> <laughs> he's got my vote. <laughs> Oh, give us a cake. Ian, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you've got a few questions, haven't you, for Stu? Go on, hit me Yeah, well, it. this is off the back of... Because you're quite um, an intelligent man. Your qualifications, we've got your CV. Oh, God. Yeah. Right. Uh, is it right? OK, we're so, going down this road. I knew he was you have got... Got... really hard. We might beat Radio 4 now we've got a brain on the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's like, we've got, we've got Sandy Tosvig for the last show. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck's that? So, oh, you've got um, nine GCSEs, yep. including five A grades, yep. two A levels, yep. An FA basic and intermediate treatment of injury course. <laughs> yeah. St Mary's University diploma in sports, yeah. massage and fitness instructing. Yeah. An FA preliminary coaching badge and three years at the Actors Centre. Yeah. Oh, yeah, And yeah, Jimmy, I'll you've got gonorrhea. all... <laughs> 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 Have you really got all that? <laughs> yeah, what the yeah. fuck are you doing in here with that? <laughs> <laughs> you also run um, uh, Castle Castle Dane Electronics, which sells guitar, wah wah pedals, no. and Castle Dean uh, motorbikes. Yeah, for, that's uh, utterly erroneous information. I don't oh. know where you got that from. <laughs> that is. Yeah. So you want to sack? You want to sack down hill again? Well, they're like, Ian, yeah, what? Sack the researcher there. That's not me. Have I'm, you just I'm googled the, the surname? Yeah, Castle yeah, yeah just googled just, yeah. the surname. I'm not the only Castle Dane like in the yeah, world. It's not I mean, a common one, is it? But you know, it's not a common one. So I've, I googled my name I've got a stationery company and I didn't even know I fucking had that so I'm worried about where the profits are going to that absolutely ridiculous <coughs> also you were in the Pink Panther yeah yeah, I did do I've had a few little cheeky acting credits what so, was yeah. your role in the Pink I was Panther a, oh, to be fair I absolutely blagged my way into it there was a what they actually wanted there was a football scene at the beginning of the Pink Panther was with Steve Martin and Beyonce and Kevin Klein and, the actual and, film yeah, it was a proper film and I actually did film for a week in Prague and I met all those this boy and, has been and it was, it, was, it, was it was a great crack but the, the, the idea was was they wanted a, a footballer with some acting abilities to do do you remember when that Wally was in goal for Columbia was it Aguita that did yeah, that yeah, a scorpion yeah. kick yeah, yeah, so yeah. they wanted a footballer that could perform that act on pitch and then run and do a bit of acting. So we, I turned up at this at audition and we were all. Did you have to grow? Uh, we were all no, 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 no. <laughs> but no, no. But anyway, so we did it. I mean, I did it. Uh, not, I wasn't quite as bad as the other idiots that were doing it, but it was still pathetic. <laughs> In the end, they sacked all of us off, got to some acrobat that did some some assault and whatever. But they quite liked me, and I was being quite busy. And I said, "Oh, I'll be your technical director, and I'll I'll stage it all." Oh, you so anyway, so anyway, totally you blagged my soul. He creates his own job, he? I did. So I did that. So I got Sean Levy, who's a proper like you know director. I'm looking at my agent, who's the busiest man in the world. He's looking at me, he's going, he's busy. 
Let me tell you. <laughs> so, technical director. So, so long Steve Martin short, over there, Beyonce. I've, fuck that's off, exactly I'm in it. So I've ended up technical director on the show, <laughs> organising all of the football scenes and that. And I and I was the French goalkeeper. So my credit in the proper Hollywood film is Stuart Castle dying French goalie. That's it. <laughs> and, I, and I'm in it. I'm in it. There's only a few scenes, but yeah. I'm in. I'm in that's the film. Good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's quality. You got paid a few quid and uh, out, out on the pissing park yeah. for the week. Happy days. That is awesome. So, I mean, so how did football. you find how did you find the time to do all this stuff when you were playing football? No, no, no ah, so that was that was towards the end. That was when I packed up. So when oh, I right. packed up and I did see the did the acting centre bits and pieces, but then I, I did the the TV presenting. So I was doing the BBC One property shows yeah. and then slipping off and just doing the odd little bits of acting and it was just it was just fun. You know? yeah, yeah, some of us like to fill our time with, you know, with fun experiences after playing yeah. football. And I I wasn't I didn't have the luxury of earning the big dough that the likes of this man did. You see, well, I, yeah. I just <laughs> missed out. I was a, as you I'm surely going to. Sort of remind me a very bang average Premiership footballer with horrendous statistics. You that. However, <laughs> you know, being that sort of lad now, you I'd didn't be on even a make the bang average. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Yeah. And yes, I jumped on the end. Yeah, of yeah. But, you know, but Jimmy earned a good few quid. Whereas yeah. I've had to, I've had to scramble about. Career, I just about yeah. made that. Yeah, big strong boy, isn't it? That's well, what happens. You're struggling you see, a bit yeah. of cash yeah. before you know it. You're on a couch sucking someone off. Going, any good? There we go. <laughs> How much does Castledine know about Castledine? Okay, go on then. So it's a quiz about you. Nice. So, how tall are you in metres? Uh, uh, in metres, I'm about six foot one, so I don't know what that is in metres. 185 or 180. What the fuck? <laughs> Well, not well, hang on a second. 185 meters. 185 centimeters. That's at the shards. I've got to tell you, what I'm going to tell you, his own eye ain't the hardest question in the world. So it is to compare it into one meter 85 centimeters. Yeah, one meter 85. But I'm going to take your first answer. 185 meters. All right, is that why you were the fire? Oh god, I missed it. Last week we had Pringles. How tall is that in Pringles can? But uh, this week, how tall are you in average erect penises? <laughs> how many how many dicks? Well, if it's mine, like three. <laughs> I, I don't know. Go on. No, I don't know. Well, no, it's what you're saying. Six inches is average penis. Is that what you've got down mm, as your? Mine's well, smaller than that. <laughs> yeah, six inches is average. Fuck yeah. off. What on the yard? One point eight. On the yard, yeah. yeah. On the yard. Fucking hell. That's some gory. <laughs> So, you're 12 dicks tall. Oh, right. Um, nice. <laughs> on average, okay. 12 dicks tall. Okay. Um, what team did you score against in your full debut? Uh, Coventry. Coventry, one yeah. all, yes. Uh, who was the last team your Wickham Wanderers manager and former Wimbledon teammate, Laurie Sanchez, managed? Uh, oh, well, I was with him uh, last month. It was a Greek team. I don't know, what, I don't know the name of it. Was it... Um, I, I, was it Apoel someone? Or yeah, was yeah, it, no, yeah. pretty good. Apollonia. Apollo uh, Apo- Simriana. Yeah, yeah. FC. Yeah. He managed you, didn't he, Jim? Did you, you have do you have Sancho at Fulham? I did have Sancho. What was yeah. he like? Yeah. He seems a bit he's a nice fellow. I got yeah, on well with nice him. Fellow. He's, he's a bit of an odd character. He is slightly odd. Like, he's, he's got nice his guy. own ways, but yeah. it, lovely fellow. I didn't odd? play for it. Um, well, first day he came in, he, he went in the office and said, fuck the team. He went, he's skirting balls and he's painting. <laughs> it's quite deep. <laughs> Actually, you, you, you're hammering me for being cerebral and reasonably intelligent. Sanchez got Sanchez. Sanchez is Sanchez is super There's super intelligent. Now. Like, <laughs> cerebral. What is that? Where'd you get all? It's like fucking Russell Brand. Where did you get all these words from? Rush, you actually go in a dictionary. Before you get out of the car, I'm going to use that, 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 bang. Cerebral. <laughs> Fuck him. I'm gonna do Could that you explain week. cerebral to Jimmy? Yeah, it's, it's, it's intelligence, it's a level of intelligence. It's usually Obviously, it fucking is, because I don't know about it. <laughs> the, the I'm brain, telling you now, next week I'm gonna come in with four words and use them on this show. Okay. All right. All right. Four Cerebral's words, gonna be one to of them. To be fair, you only use about four words anyway. Yeah, that's like, fuck 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 off. Are you yeah, fucking man. getting on the case, son? Or he's a clever fellow. You don't anyway, imagine using that on the street. Well, I went cerebral. Um, Sorry, I think it's a good thing. Don't let him right, stop you. using your nice words. <laughs> I think it's lovely, but I just wish I knew what they meant. Um, <laughs> uh, talking about Sanchez being a bit weird. This is yeah, what he, he said to. Weird, um, he? he wrote an open letter to the Apollo fans when he left because they wanted him to sign a new contract, but he didn't like the Greece uh, Super League. He said, "This is a quote: In the magic kingdom that is the Super League, even a magician can only have so many powers." What, what's mm. he talking about? It, it can't be the skirting balls now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. He's weird. He just goes <laughs> off on one. You get on with him, Smithy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what, do you, what, what was that me and Jim asking about this? What do you like to sort of do in the week apart from, you know, you go to gigs, but like, how do you fill your time? I just sit in the house, mate. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you still cake, bake cakes? No, I used to. I baked cakes for a while because I thought I had a. <laughs> I thought I had a gluten allergy. Um, like I was told I had one. I didn't just like think. I reckon I've got a gluten allergy, and I love. I love a bit of cake. So cake. I was. Um, I was a bit you depressed always about cake. it. So I just started baking my own gluten-free cakes, and Did then you? and then I eat you know whole cake a day or something. Mm. So just cakes. yeah, I don't do that anymore. But I make make bread. Quite good at making bread. Gluten-free. No, no. Mm. I'm fine with gluten now. What was it then that was causing irritations? Um, I think I just had the bad diet uh, of a comedian. Think, why'd you go it, up high? Um, because I'm, excite, I'm excited about telling a fantastic story about mm. uh, eating too many sausage rolls gigging. Fucking, this show's had it to <laughs> If anything, I think the show's getting better now. Where now I'm talking about my gluten allergies because that's what people want to hear about. <laughs> when they're like, yeah, it's all right hearing about footballers and what they're up to, but... What's he an allergic to? <laughs> what a lot of them are thinking. But no, I'm all right, so don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to get some shit on Twitter from some pricks about this, aren't I? <laughs> don't listen to him, mate. Sack Ian off talking about his gluten allergy. <laughs> what, have you got a message for those people, the haters? Go and fuck yourselves. My second fun fact about um, Apollo Simria is that uh, their badge since 1910 was a swastika. But then they changed it after the uh, Second World War, oh. for obvious reasons. What reasons? Um, I think it had negative connotations with the Nazis. Yeah, probably, isn't it? Fucking totally anyway, awesome. next question. <laughs> How many yellow cards have you got in your career? Uh, I didn't have that many. I was pretty well behaved. Four? Less than that, two. Two, is that all? Yeah, I think, and I think that's Can you remember wrong, but... which referees gave them to you? No, I definitely wouldn't know. <laughs> I definitely had more than that because I remember, I remember uh, Danny Murphy's first game for Liverpool I've absolutely buried him and I thought I'd get sent off uh, I've yeah. got a yellow for that and I've got a couple of silly yellows for. Um, so you yeah, think no, two's I'd, wrong yeah definitely well, where did you, these quizzes are you want to get wrong. Jeff, get Jeff Winter back on and have a word because he's, he's, he's the man in the know to be fair he's very rare he's right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah well apparently Gary Willard and Robbie Hart right okay I got booked against um, Chelsea as well for, for, oh, for Bio- <laughs> um, <laughs> Bioli. So is that, is that your quiz, mate? Yeah, yeah. That's the quiz, quiz done, isn't it? Sure, you only played 52 league games. Yeah, it's shocking, isn't it? Over <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, what, laughs> 10 I, years, that's like five years. years. Yeah, that's five years. I did, I did, to be fair, I, made, I didn't do? hide about it. I make no bones about it. I was an incredibly lucky footballer that I just used well, to... Well, you were You never got enough. picks. Well, no, well, I know. Oh, I got blinding statistics for the resis. Oh, just, really? Yeah, I was on the bench loads. To be fair, I had a lot of silly injuries as well. Like, really silly injuries. And I used to get injured quite a lot. Well, I was like, like trampoline in a Yeah, I was quite a kamikaze player and I'd get stuck in all the time. And yeah. Well, so you shooting. fucking didn't. You played 52 yeah. games. No, no, yeah, but, yeah, but in training, oh, in training well. and just, yeah. And I just... just and it was one of those where also I made a... a, a, a a conscious decision at the beginning of my career that I knew that I was going to be a really average to shit premiership player yeah. or I could do that or I could drop down and be an half decent championship level player like Bruce and Dyer thought, yeah and I thought well, actually no no I, you know, I've played at all the top clubs and yeah. you know I thought no I'm going to be a, a shit player at Wimbledon with all my mates and at least it's Premier League and, and, I'll, and I'll take that and then I can still have a bit of fun outside of the game and, and which I have done and, and yeah so uh, I have got terrible stats <laughs> 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 he's answered that one yeah, yeah. fair enough but Rob's like Oh, All right, fair enough. enough. <laughs> you were tied at 29 with an injury. What was, what was yeah, the injury? Yeah, I'd had a few. It was, a, it was an accumulation of a few. I'd had three operations on my knee. And, and also, it was more. It was less injury, more apathy. I wasn't really that bothered anymore about football. Yeah. I kind of, it's tired, <laughs> isn't it? Six I games know, a year. No, I dropped down. I dropped down. <laughs> it's another it. one. Apathy. I dropped down. To, <laughs> <laughs> I dropped down. I'd left. We wouldn't have got relegated. <laughs> is, that in between, is, that, is that in between happy and therapy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I thought I could yeah, have been getting it. Apathy. 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 I just couldn't really be bothered anymore with it all. Just, just translate that. Just say that then. Oh, okay. Sorry. Apathy. But anyway, so, yeah, so I, I was at Wickham and, and they were Division 1 and we were dropping down divisions and I, and I had the opportunity to do the TV presenting and I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yeah. leave now and yeah. Uh, rather than going down and down. Has Jermaine Genius retired? Because he's always... Is he still playing? Yeah, he's always like, imagine the day I see him, yeah. But he looks like 20 or something. He looks so young. <laughs> so he looks too young. It's not a bad thing. And you did coaching, didn't you? I did a bit of coaching. I coached Wimbledon ladies team for a season. My sister was playing as well, so yeah, uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I, I did that. I just made Jimmy just share a little look. Just have a little chat. Yeah, but what's happened? Where do you, you go in the dressing room? 
Uh, is it no, a bit no, awkward? No, no, I was a coach, so I didn't go, yeah, I obviously didn't run allowed in the dressing room. And, yeah. Yeah. I know, but I was sorry, what's this for? This is Wimbledon ladies, I coached them for a season. But my sister was playing for them as no, well. But if you're the so manager, was, like, so was you, was you the first team coach or was you the... I wasn't was the manager, no, they had a manager, oh, okay. I was just the coach. It was but just something you, to do, I was just to help out and my sister was there and it was the, you know, it was my old club, so there's not yeah. really any, any, yeah, anything. No, I just wondered though, because if you are the manager though, you know, you're just a coach. No, And you need to go and give half time to talk. Is it a bit like... Put your away, girls, put your tits away. <laughs> no, I never really. I, I just did that as a, you know, a one-off thing, really. I've, I've never really fancied going down the coaching route. What about you, Jim? Are you? It's uh, not... I'm doing my B license now, so yeah, I, it's in me one day. Yeah, but at the minute, no. I just think if you get the opportunity, like you've obviously have done, and I, I had a little bit of these opportunities. So many ex-players go down the coaching route, and you're up against so many yeah. of the lads doing yeah. that. Whereas if you get something that opens up in business or yeah. in, you know, in, in, in it's TV either coaching. It seems like coaching. Yeah. Or commentating yeah. to me. That's yeah. all footballers get yeah. tarnished with. Yeah. Coaching or what are you so doing? You coaching do or a bit of commentating? Then, no, yeah, mate. Then, then There's about against... another million jobs out there. I might go and have a look at. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, you're right. Fireman, yeah. go back, be a fireman yeah. again. And, uh, none of them I've got yet. So. Oh, there you have. You're doing all right, aren't you? Yeah, ticking along. I got this. Great gig. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Also, what I saw the other day, you know, Diego Costa. I saw him uh, on YouTube. He does his finger. He, he wears gloves sometimes. He did it in Spanish league. He spits into his hand. And inflicts it at people. No. Have you seen oh. this? It's disgusting. Baby Costa. Costa. He just got his uh, sort of splits into his hands and you can't reach it because it <coughs> looks like he's coughing and holds it down and waits for a bit and you see him and he's going and flicks it in their face. Yeah. It's awful. Bola. He did it to Ramos and yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? He's a like aggressive. Um, he's an animal, isn't he? No way. Yeah. Have they pulled him up on it? But this was, this was like, I don't know. She's trying to be Spider Man. This was for like <laughs> Athletic <laughs> <of> Madrid, yeah. <laughs> Wrong with him. Oh, it'd be quite funny though if he actually like was Spider Man but was trying to keep it a secret. Sometimes bits just <laughs> come out and you have to spit. pretend he's spit. That's actual web. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. It's webbed in your face, mate. Sorry about that. Um, right, that was last week. Jeff Winter said that he thought Dennis Wise was the funniest player he's ever come across. Mm, bit of a player. Would you agree with that? Funniest player. Funniest, yeah. What, just on the pitch giving it some banter? Yeah, I think so. Well, Jim. Oh, no, well, well when he said that, no, yeah, I looked at him going, no, you're all right. Uh, but I don't know about that. Yeah, I, just to be fair, I didn't really play much with Wisey. I bumped into him the other day, on holiday, funnily enough. But, uh, but he still no, got a haircut? Wisey was, uh, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> Is still, it his hair? It looks he's like still a an odd little git, you know. He's, uh, but he's, I think, yeah, he's reasonably chirpy, but I'm sure there's a load more, got a bit more funny banter in his locker. It was funny when you played, because who was Wimbledon. That would have been more. Uh, Peter Fear was, was quite a funny fellow. He got you know, people like uh, Ben Thatcher always had. What a was he like? Because funny. You... Yeah, Thatcher's quality. Thatcher's. He's a you need to get Thatcher on here. He'll be, yeah. he'll be for the, for the stories for the, yeah. the, the, the the dirty, stupid, horrible stories. Thatcher's. What's the it, one. What has he done? He's oh, he's done everything, mate. Honestly, can you but give us some? A, 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 well. I'm sure he'll tell you himself. If you, I mean, there's one to be well, found. No, he's I mean, not here, a, mate, is he? That's the no, no, I know. Okay, all right. I mean, just for instance, I'll give you an example and try not to keep it... And know, he's quite sort of overly lewd and, and cheap. Mate, but, we, but we don't worry about being overly lewd. No, no, we just... Oh, I spent half my time bloody being injured anyway. So me, Thatcher and the physio are in the, in the physio and we're doing, doing a bit of bench pressing. Like so these. you're spotting... So you know when you have to spot someone doing a yeah. bench, bench pressing, oh, we're trying to lift some big heavy weights and whatnot. And the, and the physio is a you know, senior member of the you know, the staff, so he's, you know, so he's quite important. And anyway, so Thatcher... Thatch is over the top of Steve Allen, the physio, and he's and, and he's a big old weight, and Thatch is kind of helping to support this, so he can't get it up by himself. And then with that, Thatch has whipped out his old bill and started pissing all over <laughs> his face. And he's, just, and he's, got the, he's got the big weight, he's going... <laughs> and he's sweating it, and he's trying to lift the weight off his chest, and Thatch is pissing all over him. And was like, That's oh, the one. no. Oh, oh God, God. that is oh. so oh. real. <laughs> He's an animal. He uses all them posh words and he just says old Bill. It's <laughs> <laughs> even better than it makes a story. <laughs> but yeah, no, oh, he's, an, he's a nightmare, isn't he? Oh, he's a total nightmare. And, it's, and once again, actually, this is also tied into the physio. Like the, you know, the, 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 the perfect sort of den where you've got the, all the physio room. It's all beautiful and and and. and sp- Clean and pristine, and and there was a stench in there. And we didn't know what it was for ages, and they got one of the one of the young lads to clean it out. And Thatcher done a big steam in Richard, wrapped it up, hidden it behind all the deep heats and whatnot, <laughs> and it had been in there for a week. So it was it was kind of just all deteriorating, festering away, and there's this this turd had been in there Why is for he a like week. We like had to know to hide it. Yeah, it was like a burrito, <laughs> and he'd hidden it. He'd hidden it away behind all the wraps and everything. So, like, wouldn't... Oh, he's a oh, sicko. Honestly, we need he's a sicko. We'll have to get him on for the next, next yeah. up. 
Brilliant. He's a good lad. Ridiculous. Um, and also, Wally Downs, was he a bit before your time? Yeah, he was Wally before Downs? my time. I mean, I made my debut in 91 and then played my last game in 2000. So, kind of, you know, Wally was part of that original crazy game yeah. just, just before then. Was so there a pressure all... on like, you, the, the, like, the later generation of players to sort of do mental things because of what had gone on before? Like, yeah. you're sort of trying to live up to that. There was a bit. And I don't think we ever quite recaptured that, that craziness of all yeah. that, you know, what they used to get up to. But we were still obviously at our, at our moments. But it was, uh, yeah, 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 but it was very much that they were the original crazy game was you there with and Desi then, Byrne uh, so Desi came literally right at the end so I don't I know Desi yeah, but yeah, I'd left yeah. in 2000 so okay. yeah I had that period in, in, in the middle really mind. Yeah, but yeah but no there was uh, there, were, there were all good times yeah it was all mine more sort of focused around uh, heavy drinking rather than you know I think I think I think I think the original lot <laughs> yeah. were a little bit more were dirtier and more disgusting and, yeah. uh, and, and your, your Thatchers yeah. aside who, uh, <laughs> Thatcher yeah. pissing on his face you know, aside like, I think, I think they were the, quite clean I cut the, yeah the crazy gang throughout the 90s were more yeah you know we, we liked a beer and we liked a good time and yeah. we sort of had some characters and, and you know, tough nuts and whatnot. but it wasn't quite the filth that you had in the original crazy yeah, yeah. gang days yeah, Who's the not... toughest player you played with? Well, it's prob- you I mean, it was probably was. I mean Vinny was probably yeah. you know yeah. I mean he was I mean I don't know it's yeah, he had something about him. Yeah, he always yeah. did, and he always had a sort of charisma that you knew he'd go on to do quite well. Yeah. as well. and Fash as well. Although, have you seen? I mean, he's got a bit of a Chris Eubank syndrome, old Fash. That he can look after himself, but he comes out with some shit, doesn't he? As well, have you seen <laughs> him interviewed? I mean, he me just he takes himself a little bit too seriously. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I quite like the guy, but sometimes he just uh, yeah, I think it's he's, a bit much. It's a bit too much. Was that well, like, there's I, quite I, a good one actually to tie those both in. That we, did you used to play young v olds um, at the end of training? So yeah. at the end of training, yeah. you split you split the teams up into yeah. a young young the old team and we this was before yeah. the last game of the season it's quite a big game for us and we've uh, I think I think the youngs beat the old for a change and we all had a big bundle afterwards and I've ended up and I was always quite robust anyway and I've flown into Fash and with and anyway the upshot of it all came out and I'd snapped his thumb his thumb was literally the bone was sticking out of oh. his thumb he was going he was going mental and yeah so and he missed he missed the whole like that last game and then the beginning of the next season on that but we used to didn't used to hold back yeah did he not have in, a problem with view of that for doing no, that no he was fine he knew it was an accident but we used to you know we yeah. used, to, used to train him was, was, was no holds barred really? you just all just pile into each other did you have any fights of, of them um, I personally didn't have any punch ups I mean I'd, did you see any good ones yeah I mean Fash and, and Sanch to be fair had, a, had quite a yeah. bad dust up um, yeah honest. they never really got on did they well, he said that yeah that, he, loads of documentaries and who yeah. won out of fashion Sancho was, I mean Fash was just keeping them at bay with these these like kicks and what so it was <laughs> Sancho was trying to do a proper that 30 yards old, away old, yeah, yeah. old Could fashion do, dust like, stuff like, he was trying to get yeah. stuck in and throw the nut in and everything whereas and Fash does, was just kind of doing kick. his karate bits so yeah. I, I think I'd be scared always, yeah. <laughs> I don't you don't really with teammates I don't know if you saw it much you don't really get that much you know, actual full on really. punch ups, no. do you? No, right? everyone's you jumps really in. I don't think that, I ever. You know, I had one myself, but. Um, did you? Well, did Barbie. You? Yeah, I had two, but. Was it Barbie? And who's the other one? One weren't on a pitch, mm. one was just under the bridge. Yeah, under was it, have we heard about the other one? We've all heard about Barbie, mm. haven't we? Mm. Oh, just the other one weren't much of a fight, I just oh. took a whack and that was it. <laughs> Who was that from? Chris Baird, Fulham. Really? Mm. I said, Mark him out, I've turned my back, he kicked me at my ass, as I turned my own, he clocked me and broke my nose. Was he playing? Training. Yeah, but it happens in footy. Very rare, though. Mm, it is Very rare. rare. Do you get what I mean? That is, you broke my nose, yeah. Six times I broke this. That's why I can't model anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, broke my nose. So if it doesn't look like you broke your nose six times, like Steve Bruce looks like he's oh. trying to sniff the back of his own head. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Bruce's nose is fucked, isn't it? The older it gets, the more it's going round. <laughs> I don't know if it's broken. It'd be straight, straight way, soon. Yeah. It'd go all the way round and be straight. <laughs> like, what the fuck's happening here? Uh, but right, Ian, it's time for Bulldog versus the guest, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Right, so this like is this the bit. quiz where we get um, your ratings from a FIFA game and we compare them with each other. Um, so you've just got to guess out of 100 what you think your FIFA ratings were. All right. Now, the one I that we found FIFA, was... No, was I not? I mean, I, I paid... Wait, no, sure. I the Ian's done his research, haven't you, Ian? Okay. You were in FIFA 99. Was I? I've been told. Really? So didn't okay. <laughs> but when players were ranked was... out of 16... What? Right then, That's a weird rating, Yeah, no, 10 or 100. I'm like, no, 16. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? 16 um, players. So we've converted them into using maths into out of 100. All right, okay. So, um, so how so, have you done that conversion? Fuck knows. Um, I didn't do these. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Stuart. Uh, what do you do? I don't do anything. I turn up and I try my best. <laughs> <laughs> That's all try anyone your can best. do in life. If, if you're listening, guys, just try your best. Come in. <laughs> so, Stuart was 25 um, in this, and this is against uh, the 27-year-old Jimmy Bullard in FIFA 2007. So, what do you reckon, guys, out of 100, your ball control would have been? Oh, oh, I think mine would have that would have been probably low. I was a very, I was a, I was a physical, uh, get stuck in type of box to box player. My touch was pretty shit, so I'd say fifty percent. Um, I'd say mine seventy nine. I was a ball player. Fifty seventy nine. Jimmy is only two points off. You're eighty one. Mm, I was going to say eighties, but I don't like to be having myself. Stuart, you were right to be sceptical <laughs> about it, but thirty eight. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, you no. Know. Be there. I mean, Could you come kick on. It <laughs> Oh, well, that's harsh. I'm, I'm upset. Now. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. Hey, hey. That's embarrassing. I wasn't that bad. I, mean, I, was a, I, was I reckon I'm about 24. <laughs> me, I was, I was a Premiership player, albeit a shit one. Come on. <laughs> I'm 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 on the verge of walking out. Is that bad? <laughs> that is bad. Is, God, no one's ever got one? three out. It's <laughs> angry about him before. Oh, okay. Um, I think that's the only one you'll be annoyed about. Oh, right, well, oh maybe right, not, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what do you think for speed? Uh, I was ab- 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 above average, so I don't know, probably 60, 65. Let's go with 65. I'm 75 for speed. Oh, Jimmy's only one off for that. 76. 74. Mm. Although Stuart was 75. Oh, was I? So, oh, I'll take that. Yeah. 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 Quick yeah. 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 with a bulldog. No way. Oh, I was fit. <laughs> Okay. He's six foot one, he's got long yeah. hair. You had your wallet on you, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Not back then, I didn't. Fucking hell, I was on eight quid a week on Wigan. So. <laughs> right, um, aggression. Right, well, I'd like to be thought of as being high in that, but I don't know, I'll go 75. 98. But... <laughs> my aggression would be about three. Um, but on a serious, my aggression 64, I was 65. 65. So, Jimmy... To make it three points in a row, you were close with. You had 79. Aggression? Yeah, yeah. See, I don't know where they, they get these you from. I, mean, so that, that, I used to play. To be honest, I, I used to play like a little bulldog. I should yeah. have had myself a bit higher than that. No, seriously. Sorry, I banged the table. Um, Same man's gone, man. But you were. So that's what, like uh, 13 points out. So that means your guess of 75 was a fair bit out. 44. Really? <laughs> Are you <laughs> pussy? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are they this on? Yeah. Do they even watch any games? Yeah, yeah. 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 So well, they watch. And that was my thing. Yeah. Yeah. That was my thing. I ain't having that. That was my thing. 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 That was but then we'll again, they probably FIFA. didn't hardly see me play. Yeah, no, yeah. I, they're probably basing that on my warm up. Because yeah. I didn't actually, I didn't even actually play in '99. So I mean, how aggressive can you be running up and down and chucking a few stretches in? You know. Like, <laughs> oh fuck it, he looks so yeah. Watch oh, you see what he did that quad stretch. <laughs> Those hamstrings that we stretched out since '92. Right. No wonder um, my speed was all right. Running up and down, up and down, <laughs> get me on, boss. There's only so many two footers you can, down can down chuck in on the ball, boy, isn't there? On the side. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. So three nil bulldog. Is it three nil bulldog? Ah, clean white. What you got to go around with your balls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last one. Tackling. Yeah. Once again. We don't get. We don't take a on this. I mean, I would. I would say very high on that. On the basis of not playing in 99 and sitting on the bench, I mean, I don't know what they're going to go with. I'll, I'll, go, with seven, I'll yeah. go with 70. Go with 70. Yeah. What about you, Jimmy? I'm going 72. 70. Fucking hell, you've done well this week, Jimmy. 73. Oh, fucking 4 0 balls at time. Yeah, if you're Boom. doing this every time, surely you know. What no, but he's on, he was no. on more FIFAs. Oh, oh, so it changes oh, a bit. Oh, oh okay. Um, yeah, I think they've clearly just guessed yours. Yeah. Um, you were closer this time, though. You said 70, yeah. your tackling was 50. <laughs> oh, this is bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> On the sideline, 50. <laughs> it's bollocks, that is. So though. that's four points to the Bulldog, which oh, means over big, the series it's 12 oh, well, I'm starting to think, though, Ian, that the maths you did at the beginning weren't right. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, maths I did at the Because beginning? it was out of 16. <laughs> Listen, mate, <laughs> I didn't do the research on this, but what I would say is that you get 100 and you divide it by 16, which is obviously 6.25. We all How know that. How did you do it that quick in your head? I yeah, I've just level, still got an air GCSE Go maths. Then. So then what you do is you get the score out of 16. So say you had 8 out of 16 for 1, it and then you times that by 6.25. So 8 times 6. Uh, yeah, so 8 50. times 6.25 is obviously 50. 
Are you not happy about that, are you? No, I'm not. No, I don't I mean, mind being self-deprecated and saying I was a bit average, but <laughs> I'm not having that. You know? yeah, I was better than that. Yeah. I was better than that. But if they're doing that on There's, there's no season. way Jimmy's better than you at tackling, is there? I'll tell you what, I'm not better than him. Words. <laughs> yeah, that should be oh, yeah, Sorry, one. no, I missed that one out. Literature. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big fat 16 for that. <laughs> Jimmy got a four. <laughs> Fucking, I'll take that. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know what I would like to have a little story to make myself feel slightly better about myself <laughs> after it's been absolutely crucified? Yeah, we could have put in a couple of better ones for him. Was that was that, a bit harsh. Was that, uh, in my defense, <laughs> I, in my locker, I did have, I was pro- probably the fittest and most competitive and strongest player at Wimbledon, even though I wasn't you know, yeah, the, yeah. The, the best skillfully. So anyway, so we went away to Iannapa end of season tour. We end up, we get there, we're on uh, Nissy Beach, we turn up and we're having a few drinks and Newcastle are there. And there was a little bit of frost in this initially because you know what it's like, you've got two... Yeah. Teams and that's all you need. Oh, great! There's another bloody team out here, yeah. and they was a few hundred yards away. We, so we've been drinking most of the day. Sent Especially over, if they're good. Yeah, and they were a bit. They, they had a bit, a bit better than us. You know, they had all sort of uh, proper players. Was this we like just, Shearer time? Yeah, Shearer, exactly. Mate. This is mid mid nineties. Anyway, we send over a load of booze to them. They send over a load of booze to us. We all start getting together, and it's all quite friendly. So we decide to have like a beach Olympics. They say, like, right, who's your top man? Stu's ours at everything. Just bring it on. So oh. so, <laughs> so we say right, so, and, we, and we were all plastered as well. I mean, We've been drinking for like, all afternoon, so it was all quite good banter. So I said, right, first of all, we're going to go press up competition. And we felt I'd done fashion, I'd done everybody at this before anyway. Yeah. So they sent just a they sent forward little busy John Beresford, you know John Beresford, yeah, little left yeah, back, little left back, but yeah. busy. He still had his tie up. Yeah, he did, he did, he was anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> is he, was he a bit weird, John Beresford? No, 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 just no, a no it's about fuck up. up. <laughs> but you know, really fit and youth. And I did look at it. He's like a little tank in it. Yeah, I thought I bet he's going to be really good. Anyway, so so he's gone down, and they were quite stringent. There was no not normal press ups. It was in the sand and you had to go right the way down to your chest and it was all yeah. anyway so he did about he did about 70 something and they was like it was, and they were all cheering going yeah yeah you go anyway I go down bang 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 I smash out 90 straight off pull head up you want some more yeah. <laughs> <laughs> knocked out the 100 go up get Beresford luckily he's not like that bigger fella and I pick him up I put him on my shoulders and I run round the beach <laughs> with him he's defeated and I'm running round <laughs> cheering going yeah that you wankers <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then we go on from there. We say, right, arm wrestling, let's have it. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'm not just doing one of you, I'm going to do the fucking lot of you. Line up. So we go on that, <laughs> and I'll go one after the other, and I promise you, we do, I'll do any of you now. After. <laughs> one after the other, the whole team is like, bang, <laughs> 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 I mean, he, smashed them up. <laughs> he smashed the mic. Look at him down on the castle, dog. I want, I want, I want that aggression back. How much did I get in the I'm score for FIFA for five? Castle <laughs> dimes and fucking right. lunatic. So anyway, I'm moving this. So I've done the, done all, and then just to round it off. So, so to say, look, I don't want it to all just be about the strength, you know, because I've, I've got, the, I've got the drinking in the locker as well. Who's your drinker? Who's your top drinker? <laughs> so they send forward, and to be fair, this doesn't end quite. Um, well, it ends up in a draw, but right. So they send forward fully Powell Bear, the big Belgian, <laughs> so the big Belgian. He <laughs> <laughs> loves oh, it. Oh. And, you know, and I'm off the back of the press ups, you know, yeah, yeah. and we've been drinking all day anyway. And I reckon he's only been sipping the old Stellas before, and well, I'm pulling back all day. anyway. So and we said, so, right, turn into we, we said so, well, down down a pint, so we down a pint, and I'm, I can I've got it in a locker in about like two and a half, three seconds. To be fair, it was about the same with him. So he said, right, okay, well, let's liven it up. Let's do it through snorkels. So we put snorkels on and we were pouring down and we were sucking it all and then we had to go and run around this, this like, this special thing. And anyway, it was, ah, uh, it was... And, and, and the physio was there. The, the, the physio, the Newcastle Come physio. Piss. Philippe Albert was had just come back from a cruciate knee leg and he was crying. He was going, oh my God, no, what are you doing with him? Ah. Like, I'm rugby tackling him and we're rolling around and like, yeah. So anyway, so we called that one a draw, but... <laughs> uh, the end of that so we came back from that trip and there was loads of other stuff that was going on in the trip and as I was like you know average player and whatnot. You we came back legend. and they I came back in first day back pre-season training they'd had a t-shirt legend of Cyprus and I was like <laughs> you know they all clapped me back I was like oh and I actually had my first my only uh, alright season off the back of that because I was so full <laughs> of confidence yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so my contract was due up, all right, at Wimbledon. Well, we ain't getting involved and, in no, contracts. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. about you a two Don't get the podcast. So, <laughs> used to have, so Sam Herman was the man, who was, and he was top man, and he used yeah. to run, that, like, yeah, he was quality. So, and we had in, like, written in our contract stupid stuff, like if we got relegated, we'd have to eat like, in, like, camel bollocks and things like that. He, he used to really? like, yeah, we literally used to have stuff like a proper legally binding contract. We used to have, ask any of the other, if you ever get any Wimbledon lads on, it was all this really silly stuff. But he was, he was a really fun guy and yeah. whatnot. And I knew the way that he loved all that sort of stuff at Wimbledon. So my contract was due up. You know, and I'd just about done enough to scrape up paltry pay rise, you know, not like Jimmy's big fat salary. But anyway, <laughs> but, they were, but they were still prevaricating about whether to sign or not. There we go, that's that, Jim. I can't even say that one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sounds like you shit yourself. That, 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 that was like an old dinosaur. That guy's a pre-barricade all over my pants. <laughs> <laughs> the old dinosaur. They were weighing it up. So anyway, so I knew they were weighing it up. So so I've, I've called over Sam. I said, Sam, Sam, and they were telling us some stories about how I'd, I'd been doing some arm wrestling. So he got Sam to have a go at me. And, one, and he used two hands, which is what reminded me what you said. So I'd let Sam use two, and he still weren't able to beat me. And I've... And I've and not only have I beat him, I've chucked him and I've thrown him onto the floor through beating him, and then I've got him on the floor, and this is the chairman, like, and I've pinned him down, and I'm giving him dead arms, and, I'm <laughs> and he's laying there like this little, like little beetle sort of thing, with his arms and legs in the air, and he's killing him, so he's loving it. He's jumped up, I like, I know, this is the multi-millionaire owner. I've cut his arm, his arm's bleeding. He's jumped up, he goes, I love this guy, I love this man, he is brilliant. Anyway, next day signed, boom, done. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're crackers, man. Yeah, like <laughs> We're just like a bit, bit chilled out after the earlier guys at the crazy yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's is unbelievable, isn't so it? So funny. Um, so there will people know who the next guest is. Um, we haven't actually booked anyone yet, um, but um, hopefully have a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. Basically, people just say that when they haven't booked anyone, wouldn't it? Yeah, basically, mm. we've got fucking no one. No one. Um, but anyway, we've got some suggestions. Um, Scott Wallace on Twitter said, please get Phil Brown. On the magic sponge, would you like Phil Brown on? Yeah, we we'll get Brownie on. Yeah, um, he's yeah. just said he's a bit chocolate, haven't he? Yeah, oh. he, I, yeah I don't really like talking about people who love herself. <laughs> um, well, Paul Golden wants uh, Terry Erlock. Terry, I Erlock, think he'll the be a good Millwall shout. Old Millwall um, player. A I've lot got of his people. Shirt. Oh, have you? I used to play for Millwall as a kid back in the day. I've got Terry Erlock shirt. I think yeah. he'll be a good person yeah, get to get him on. You give it back to him. Um, yeah, like passing it back. Yeah, how good yeah. would that be? Um, Liam Lawrence. People want Liam Lawrence. Ashley yeah, Lawrence. Liam, Liam Lawrence. Lawrence. Good boy. I know Liam Lawrence. We could try and get him on. Definitely. Um, James Denning. Um, Mick Hartford. That's oh, Mick Hartford. Big Mick. He's proper hard Mick. Mick's brilliant. You talk about hard men. You know, Vinny and Fash, the hardest man out of all that lot, Mick Hartford. I was with really? Him. I was with Mick and K Dolls. Well, you played with him? Yeah, I played with Mick for years. What, what, Mick's brilliant. What he did you see him do? Or did he just rock? I know. He's he's just, he just got an aura. Yeah, he's a young, like, Western gunslinger, isn't he? He's just got yeah. a way about yeah, him. He's a Western he's gunslinger when the last one out. He's a pile. He's hard as nails, Mick. He's brilliant. Um, Kevin Gallum, who want Kevin Gallum back? Uh, to be fair, I think you might be uh, in for a I shout of a recall be, yeah, after yeah, that Philip Albert story. Um, <laughs> Belgian steps forward. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Chat. No, you've been. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll leave it in the locker, and then next time I've got some more. Oh, stuff he knows how to work. work. Yeah. That's yeah. how he's got a pink pamphlet. No, thanks for coming, Steve. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us, and we'll see you see you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye. The Magic Sponge is a picture production for Dave and is produced by Sam Pearson.